A few years ago, a small YouTuber popped onto my recommended page. It was a girl talking about learning Japanese. I watched that video and checked out a few of her other videos, and then I forgot about her. Fast forward to present day, and she's been popping up on my recommended page again. I just watched her video saying she surpassed a million subscribers and shares her story. I haven't seen many of her videos, but this was by far the most interesting one for me. Hearing her backstory, her struggles, the family drama, and her persistence posting from 2016 and still going today, inspiring stuff. I got a warm feeling in my heart when she said how her mom was celebrating with her when one of her videos took off and she gained 5,000 subscribers in one day. The fact that her mom woke up to tell her the good news, that means her mom watched her video early in the morning, maybe as soon as she woke up. Sounds like her mom's her number one fan. Very heartwarming to hear. The quality of her videos and thumbnails has gotten a lot better. She said we hit 1 million subscribers, so there's probably a video editor and maybe more on her team. I know she took Ali Abdal's YouTuber course and he strongly recommends hiring an editor as soon as possible. But I want to do everything myself. At this point, I don't want to hire anyone even if I was making money and it would improve the video quality. I watched Rudy talking about her video making process from brainstorming thumbnails and titles to the concepts and writing. Man, if that's what it takes to blow up on YouTube, it's going to take me 10 plus years to get to her level because I'm taking a different approach. I'm going for quantity over quality like Charlie. If going for quality was the only way to succeed on YouTube, then I'd probably have to follow in Rudy's footsteps and craft each video, but having seen Charlie as a shining example that you don't have to do that to succeed, I'm more drawn to follow in his footsteps even if it means I'm playing the long game. I'll keep uploading what I want to make daily and just try to have fun doing it. But to bring it back to Rudy, you are an inspiration. Thanks for sharing your story and I look forward to seeing you grow even more.